texture of the piece, but it also has these extremely uh, specific shimmering details that play to the violin strings. So it's a really fun piece to play. And actually for the orchestra, it's really stimulating, but also challenging because the individual parts are difficult. There are also some ensemble sections where at one point you have a trio with this part of the orchestra, and then you turn the other quartet with the other, and then front stands are playing. Or, you know, it's just, um, it's really a combination of all kinds of things, but it's a big statement of a piece. You know, the Corngold has a direct appeal for audiences listening to it for the first time, and that might have to be because uh, there is so much rich, wonderful qualities in the melodies that are directly attributable to his film music. And I was just wondering, uh, you know, this is really sort of a triumph of repurposing content, isn't it? It is his own, so you can't accuse him of stealing, right. or even borrowing, mm -hmm. <laughs> because he created it, so it's, it's his to do what he wants with. Exactly. And I, well, ahead. I think, though, that a lot of people don't know the film scores that he wrote. They're very old classic movies, but I think if you consider the time in which he was writing, and you look at the films, and you see how music was used in those classic Hollywood films, the violin was the ultimate rom romantic instrument, and it, uh, it was a very expressive device to put into the soundtrack. So you have these swells of violin sections playing, and you have unusual instruments in the orchestra to kind of highlight certain parts. And you see that happening in the violin concerto. It was interesting in the past few weeks to be working on the corn group while I was in different places. I was working on it when I was in London recently. I just practiced it in the hall after rehearsing another piece, and people from the orchestra who had stayed late to practice, or people from the administration who were working after the rehearsal, they came up to me and said, I love the Corn Gold. It's one of my favorite pieces. Mm -hmm. It's one of these pieces that if you know it, you love it. And if you don't know it, you're curious to find out what it is.